Welcome to the Creating Conditional Releases demo. In this demo, you will learn how to set up release conditions that will restrict student access to chosen D2L Brightspace content, assessments, drop boxes, etc. until certain conditions are met. By the end of this demo, your fully developed course will be set up to open assignments based on progress of your students. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. Conditional releases are used the same way throughout all of the D2L Brightspace tools. In this demo, we are going into the content tool area to demonstrate how to create a conditional release. On the gray navigation bar, click on the content link. Select the module. We will add a conditional release to a topic. Click the drop down arrow next to the title of the topic and click Edit Properties in Place. Add Dates and Restrictions will appear below the topic title. Click Add Dates and Restrictions. To create a new release condition that has not been used before in this class, click the Create button. From the condition type, drop down, select the condition type you want to use. You can make an item available to a student who has completed a specific checklist, item from a specific checklist, discussion post, dropbox submission, quiz or assessment attempt, survey attempt, or who is in a certain group, section, or role or who has done the following. Visited a specific content item, visited all content items, authored a certain number of discussion messages or replies in a topic, received Dropbox feedback, scored within a grade range on an item, scored on a rubric, scored on selected questions on an assessment. Example. Under the discussion condition type, choose the Discussion Post Authored in a Topic option. From the Discussion drop-down menu, select the Week 4 Discussion Board Topic. Note that it must be a discussion topic, not the forum. Type in two posts and choose Threads and Replies. This will make it so this content topic is only available once the student has posted or replied twice in the Week 4 Discussion Board Topic Term Paper. Click Create. Note how the release condition is summarized below the topic. Let's add another condition. Click the Create button. Under the Condition Type, click the drop-down arrow and choose grade value on a grade item. Under grade item, click the drop down arrow and choose week 4 quiz. Select the criteria greater than and set the grade to 60. Click create. Note how both release conditions are summarized below the topic. Now you need to decide how you want these conditions applied. Click the drop down arrow below the create button. Select all if you want the content released only to students who have completed both of the conditions. Select any if you want the content released if the student completes one or the other or both of the conditions. Note, if you put in multiple sections or groups, you will need to use the any option as students won't belong to both sections. If you want to remove the release condition at any time, click the X next to the condition to remove it. Click update when you're finished making changes. Notice the release conditions are noted below the topic. 
you have now successfully created released conditions.